So we're going to jump over real quick, Craig, um, to our infamous, infamous how to and to question. Um, and the question we have for you today is how in two minutes can you improve your financial situation? In two minutes, I timed this. Do we have a timer? Let's get this going. Let's get a timer. Out. That's right. I just want to make right sure. There. I think that's the only one. Yeah, but I, got my but timer. I don't know. I don't think Craig can see it. I got my timer right here on this, it. but let's bust yeah, out the It's timer. already on two minutes. I'm ready for this. <laughs> there you go, man. I, I'm excited. It's going to make a noise when it's done, though. So. That's right. All right. So the first, the first bit of advice I would have is to have the desire. Because some people, I feel like, especially these days, have become complacent with where they are. They know that they have to work. They know it's going to make them unhappy. They know it's going to not make them enough money. And they aren't willing to do anything about it because they just expect it to stay that way. A, I can teach you how to not stay that way. I can teach you how to see what your options are and what to do differently. Um, so after wanting it, you really have to learn about it. You have to learn what the options are, um, what's available to you versus what could be available, available to you in the future. Mm -hmm. um, and after making finite goals for what your level of financial security looks like, because it's different for everybody. Some people want 10 rental properties to be secure. Some people just want to be able to go on a vacation a year and they're super happy with that. So that scenario looks differently. So you make a goal, you learn how to fit that goal into your daily life, and then you stick to it. Because so many people, they get super excited, I'm gonna save all this money, I'm gonna eat top ramen, and I'm gonna save everything else. I'm gonna save $700 a month on food, because top ramen is super cheap. Right. And then they get burned out, because it's not realistic. So I help them make a concrete, realistic goal that will help them get their need made. But there's a lot that they have to do. I cannot do everything for them. I can provide opportunities, but past that, it's up to that person. And sometimes it's hard, and sometimes it's actually really easy. It's just a matter of switching the way you think about money a little bit. And so, you know, spending more than you, or spending less than you make is good to start, but past that, what you do with the money that you do save is super important. Man, I love that. And it's not even two minutes. Look at that. Boom. Fantastic. <laughs> right on the dot there. 